Well, it's gun season eve here in Idaho. I got off work a lot earlier than I thought, and I'm so stoked. So I want to go after this desert buck that I've been going after. I've seen him three times, put two stocks on him. All three times, definitely could have got a shot with a rifle. A little after 11 right now, driving in here. There's tire tracks on the road. Hopefully nobody's camping up here. If there are, maybe I can chat with them, see what their plan is. But I got plan B, plan C, plan D to do as well. And I got daylight to go check them all. But I'm off tomorrow for the opener, and I am so excited. I probably won't sleep tonight. I'm so excited. I had a blast chasing these mule deer with the recurve. Had some close encounters, passed some bucks up. And it's going to be a different ball game with a, with a rifle, so I'm excited. If there isn't people in here, I'm going to go up there and scout. And hopefully glass one up, put them to bed, give them a little roost. And get them in the morning. All right, we made it up here to the trailhead. There's nobody parked here. There's nobody camping here. I passed two four-wheelers with three dudes. They were heading out. They were definitely hunting tomorrow. But that's the thing. Like I said, everybody has a four-wheeler. And what people tell me is nobody really leaves their car or their four-wheeler. If you're willing to hike a mile off the road, you're going to see very, very, very few people. That's an advantage. That's such an advantage because that's all I do. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do now, gather all my gear, make sure I have everything. I'm going to hike in there maybe two miles. I'm going to camp there and then hike up the mountain to glass tonight and hunt tomorrow. That's the plan. So I'm gonna round up all my gear now, make sure I have everything, and get ready to go. All right, got the pack all loaded. This isn't a long walk in there. That's a good 35 pounds before tripod camera, which is about six. The gun I'm bringing is a Savage 270 with a just a regular three to nine scope on it. Pretty standard East Coast setup. Feel confident after like 250 with it. Hopefully we can get them closer than that. I've taken many white tails back east with this gun. Hopefully we can notch a mule deer in it. So that's the gun of choice here. All right, you got camp all set up pretty quick. Just gonna dump off what I don't need for this evening. It's a pretty view at camp. I'm in the bottom, I gotta hike up, but that's okay. Put the rain fly on, we're supposed to get some rain. Maybe tonight, but definitely tomorrow, midday. And the weather's changing. We're supposed to get two inches of snow maybe on Monday. Big cold front coming. And we're going to head up back up here. Hopefully we'll roost one for tomorrow. That'd be perfect. That'd be so nice to find one today. Let's we'll see if we can get lucky and do that. Alright, I got to the spot where I want to start glassing. So straight across from me is where I had the last encounter with this buck. And then over that ridge is where I saw him two other times. I haven't seen him in that other spot since mid-September. This spot right here is the last place I saw him. So that's just where I'm going to start glassing. There's a lot of country here. And I've spent a good amount of time up here and he is the only buck I have seen. Hopefully we can turn up another buck. That'd be nice. He's on the north end of this mountain scouting yesterday because I haven't been over there yet. And I found two sheds. That was it. No deer over there, not even a fresh track or anything. All the deer I've seen on this mountain have been on this south side, so that's what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to sit here and glass hard for the next few hours. Let's get the binoculars up, spot and scope ready, and see what we can find. Hopefully we can find this buck, man. If we find him today, that'd be a good start for tomorrow. All right, so I was glassing down the hill. I went for a little walk. I went and followed the ridge behind me. Nothing over there, and then I wanted to risk it. Walk that ridge that's I've been glassing over into there. I wanted to get on that top. Look down into the next bottom, and then look down into another ravine, which is what I'm planning on doing tomorrow. That was always the plan from the beginning, but I wanted to go check it today. And uh, sure enough, I get up here to the saddle and I'm walking right at the top there and there's a doe standing there. Got some video of her. She knew I was there. She was alarmed, but she went back to feed and I got out of there. It kind of sounded like there was another deer down to the right from her, but I never saw it. And for tomorrow, I was follow that entire ridge all the way across that saddle up that top, the next saddle, and then there's more country back in there that I've never been in. That's if I don't glass something up here. So, But I'm definitely going to come here in the morning and glass before walking through that stuff. So I'm going to 
sit here. We got plenty of daylight left still. And see what we can find. Blast up a whole herd of elk. That's all I could ever find, man. Imagine it's the same elk that I saw down here. I filmed them a week or so ago. They're way out there. But maybe the critters are starting to move. Maybe I'll see a buck here soon. I'm gonna call it an evening. It's 6.30 right now. And I'll leave my spotting scope here tomorrow. I'm gonna come right back here and glass it all over again. Made it back to camp. What a view. The moon's out. Sunset. On deer season eve. Only one more sleep and we get done. That's if I fall asleep. Maybe we have zero sleeps. Man, I'm so excited. Alright, it's just getting to be first light right now. Got up at like 6. And it's about 7.15. It's a pretty good hike up here. But, we're just in time. Gonna start glassing here in a little bit when it gets a little more light. It's very humid out. It's a very calm morning. It's supposed to rain later this afternoon. And then at midnight, it's supposed to turn to snow, so we got a big cold front coming. Hopefully this weather gets them on their feet this morning. Alright, three does just stepped out on the ridge up there, right where that buck was the last time I saw him. They keep looking behind them, so I'm going to get behind the glass and see if he's with them. Alright, it's almost 12 o'clock. Left my first glass in the spot, and I've just been hiking and glassing, hiking and glassing on this top, looking into all these different ravines. I haven't found anything yet. It's a heck of a view up here, that's for sure. I'm going to use glasses a little bit longer and then head over to the east, go into that stuff, see what I can find over there. All I gotta do is find one. Find one. And we're in the game. Alright, I left that glass in point. Just following this top out and I got into this big saddle. Immediately saw a fresh deer scat. So I start slowing down. I found a deadhead over there, just a little buck. I filmed it and put the camera back on my back. And I take two steps, look to my left, like right on the other side of the deadhead. And there's a few deer, so I got ready, got the gun up. Oh, there's deer right here. As I was saying, it ended up being six does, and I think that's what this group is for sure. They, they haven't caught my wind. I was in like a 15 minutes there down with them. I was in such an awkward position on my knee. I was cramping so bad. I did not see a buck with them. I just got done talking to you. A twig snap behind me. There's a freaking doe. Yearling. Six yards away. There was three of them. All three are yearlings and one was a button buck. Nine deer. Right here, right now. I've seen 12 does today. Well, I just sat down to start glassing this new spot. Don't I freaking glass up a bear? This is where I least expected to find a bear. I haven't seen any bear sign for miles and miles and miles from here. But we're gonna glass up a muley buck here, hopefully. That's official. I have seen everything but a buck, mule deer. I glassed up a big horn ram below me actually not far from where the bear was. I'm on the other side of the gully now. The bear was on my mountain, right below that ram. There's gotta be a buck up here somewhere. Where's the bucks? So plenty of daylight, I'm just taking my time on my way back. Just stopping the glass stuff that I might have missed. Like that ram. Man, it's about six o'clock right now. Got back to where I started this morning. 
think I'm going to head back to the truck. Uh, I've got to tear camp down. I'm going to hunt my way back to camp. Get back to the truck. It's, this wind really picked up. Like it's heavy, heavy winds. It blew some smoke and it made it tough to glass as well. Pretty eventful day. That was the most deer I've ever seen on this mountain. 12 deer. And, you know, I came in here pretty much just looking for that big 4x4 that I encountered in archery. I've seen them three times. And each one of those times I never put in a full day. It was always just in the afternoon I came out here. So I figured coming here, if I put a whole day in, I could maybe stumble on them. That was my thought. But that's alright. I'm just going to do what I can. Keep hunting my butt off like I always do. Keep my head up. Roll with the punches. And I'll be back out tomorrow. I'm supposed to get some snow at midnight. I'm pretty excited to hunt in the snow, with, especially with a low deer density area. And I know what a big mule deer track looks like. All I gotta do is hike around, find a track in the snow, and we should be in good shape. Hopefully catch up to them, but that's the plan. Rarely goes according to, but we'll find out. Thank you guys for watching this video. More videos to come. If you want to subscribe, hit this little button up here. If you want to watch an old video up in there. If you want to buy a t-shirt, hat, sticker, crew.